Rocky 2. Big Lou, Big Louie's Coach Review, back again with another review, and that's right, today we're going to be doing a review on my most favorite subject in the world, beef jerky. That's right, we're going to be doing a, a review on uh, bearded jerky, uh, yeah. I, I seen uh, I seen an ad on uh, Instagram. It was uh, you know it's you're just scrolling through, liking stuff, hitting the like button, and then there's an advertisement that pops up like every five seconds on Instagram now. Like it just seems like there's always an advertisement popping up, and it was beef jerky. Now beef jerky is one of my most favorite fun foods in the world to eat because it's something that I enjoy. My girl kind of likes beef jerky, but she's not a big beef jerky nut. I actually make beef jerky at home. I have a dehydrator. I do it myself or I do it on a charcoal barbecue outside, but doing it on a charcoal barbecue takes a lot of time. It's a big process. You have to be at 120 degrees and it has to be a constant 120 degrees. So it's not the easiest task to perform on charcoal, but I do it out there when I want to because I like making it in bulk and I like making it my way, you know, but when I'm not buying beef jerky and I'm not making beef jerky, um, you know, I'm always looking for something different, you know, and, and you know, I saw the advertisement on Instagram and I was just like, oh, I was like, okay, another clickbait, you know, click on this and then boom, you're buying something. But then when I was looking into it, I was like, wow, this is actually a pretty cool company because with every purchase that you do of a five pack of jerky, they either do, you could, you could choose between the sweet or the spicy, right? If you want uh, like five packs of like spicy, whether it's peppered or it's uh, red peppered or black peppered or smoky or whatever, whatever the flavor profile you choose, they have five packs, okay? And I have the additional three packs in my uh, room over there. I got them, I'm actually gonna take them to work with me after I do this review. And um, pretty cool, you know, I, I seen the advertisement and I have a video ad of them being in Huntington Beach or Newport Beach, California, one of those two spots. They're interviewing people, trying jerky on the street. And they did this thing that I noticed that I picked up on that I don't like, okay? They did this thing where they take the jerky and they snap into it. Now, when somebody snaps into beef jerky, to me, it's an indication that the beef jerky is gonna be really dry and really tough. That's what I think, or that's how I perceive when I see somebody doing that. But I was still like, you know what? I still like beef jerky and I'm always looking to try something new. Like when I go to the gas station by my house over here, they have the weirdest kind of beef jerky companies making beef jerky, but I buy them anyway. I try them out and if they don't like them, I throw it out, you know, or I give it to the birds, you know, whatever, you know, <laughs> I either give it to to mother nature and all of her friends, or I just eat it myself, you know, no big deal. Now, um, this company, the Bearded Jerky, well, it's www.beardedjerky.com, or if you go to their Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook, it's uh, at the Bearded Jerky Club. Yeah, at the, yeah, that's what it is, yeah. At the, at, uh, uh, at, the Bearded Jerky Club. That's their Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, okay? If you wanna do that. If not, you can go to their website, www.beardedjerky.com, and you can buy it over there. Or you could do like I did and be on the clickbait end of it where you click on the advertisement on Instagram and you go to their site. Um, so I got two flavors from them. I got Sweet Thang, and I also got barbecue shootout, okay? Those are the two flavors that I picked up and those are the two flavors we're gonna be trying today. Now, what I like about this is, is that in the packaging, they included a card and it's handwritten my name on the outside envelope of the card. So, see that? It says Luigi. Now, Luigi is my given name for those of you who don't know that. Uh, I go by Big Louie's Coach Review on here, but I am Italian and I was given the name Luigi and uh, that's my name, folks. So inside the card, it was sealed. Actually, somebody licked this and, uh, you know, so this was licked and it was closed. <laughs> so unless they didn't lick it, maybe they used like a cotton swab because, you know, if you're sending out a million of these, I, I doubt you'd be like, uh, 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 licking a million envelopes. 
you know. But what's really cool is, is they included this card, and on one side they have a Bearded Jerky, get 10% off your next purchase using promo code BEARDED10. Okay, so you got that right there. So if any of you are going to decide to go there and purchase, you can get a discount. Unlike me, I did not get a discount because I did not know about that code. But now, hopefully, you guys know the code. And if you decide to buy it, then hey, maybe you save like two, three bucks. And then it says, follow us on the road to a million. Uh, follow us on the road to a million at the Bearded Jerky Club, Instagram and Facebook or Twitter. And World Wide Web, which is beardedjerky.com. Okay, and they got a cool logo. It's like a guy with a beard and uh, bull horns for, on his head headdress, basically. And um, on the opposite side, it's handwritten, which I like. It says, hey, Luigi, and it's signed. Signed by the founders of the company. Okay, and I thought this was pretty cool because not only you're buying a product from an online store, um, there's also a little personal factor to it. And also after I purchased the product, two days after I purchased it, I have not received the product, but I got a phone call from the company itself and one of the founders had left a recorded message on my voicemail. And I thought that was pretty cool because aside from just buying the product, there was follow-up. I like the fact that there was follow-up and a connection of the owner introducing himself and talking about his company. Now, was it a live phone call? I doubt it. I think, personally, I think it could have just been a recorded message that, you know, is on a dialer and it dials out to all the people that purchase product from them and then it's, it, you know, plays a recorded message. I didn't pick up the phone because I didn't recognize the phone number, so I just let it go to voicemail. Then when I heard my voicemail, it did say, this is the crazy thing, it said my name. In the message so that's why I'm wondering whether or not he personally called or if it was a dialer because if it was a dialer then he'd have to make a personalized voicemail message millions of times over to every person that <laughs> buys their product so I think you know that I'm starting to wonder did he really leave a message or was it just a dialer I don't know but on this card it says welcome to the bearded jerky family we appreciate your order and hope you enjoy our jerky as much as we do if you don't know, every five bags of jerky bought, we donate one bag to a charity of your choice. Thank you for joining us on the road to donating one million bags. Yours truly, Houston Ann and Jacob Ann. Okay, founders of Bearded Jerky. Now, that's pretty cool. I like that. And on the inside of this envelope, they also included stickers, which, hey, who doesn't mm -hmm. like stickers? So I got I Love BJ, which, you know, some people will think the naughty version of that, but it's I Love Beef Jerky. And then there's, you know, their stamp or their seal, I guess you could say. So it's, uh, you know, their logo, which uh, this I'll probably put on the back of my, my laptop or something on the on a part that faces people, you know. Then maybe I'll put I Love BJ on my car. Who knows, you know. But we'll see what happens. Anyways, so two stickers. Who doesn't like stickers and who doesn't like personalized notes? So I thought that was really cool. Now, uh, they ask you when you purchase, where do you want the bag to go? Like what charity of choice you want it to go to? And I selected the Wounded Warriors, basically, um, only because, you know, for me, I, I want to do whatever I can to our, our Army, Navy, military you know, USMC, whoever, Air Force, or whoever was involved with any type of war and come, has come back wounded, um, I think it's cool that they would send a packet out to our infantrymen or servicemen, you know? And I thought that was pretty cool, you know? Maybe it'll stem to something else where they'll start donating. If they make enough, uh, if they make enough money, maybe they'll start donating funds. But for now, they're going to be sending one bag to a charity of your choice if you buy five. So I bought a five pack of the sweet jerky, okay? So in this review, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna go over smell, taste, feel, uh, cleanliness, and also uh, see if it's overly sweet, if it's exa exaggeratingly sweet, if it's sticky, 
if it has a certain funk to it, if uh, we're going to go over a lot of basics. You know, when it comes to food and me, I'm very particular and I'm very big on beef. Okay, I'm very big on beef and I love beef jerky. We're also going to do a dental test. We're going to actually clean teeth afterwards and see if there's a large amount of debris in our teeth afterwards. Sounds disgusting, but honestly, every time I eat beef jerky, certain beef jerkies get caught in my teeth and cause pain and discomfort. So the type of meat, the way it is, how it breaks down in your mouth is very important, you know, when you're chewing it. So this way, if you're going to chew it and chew it and chew it and leave it in the side of your mouth, like, you know, tobacco, then, you know, some people do that with beef jerky too. They just let the beef jerky sit in their mouth for like an hour before they grab another piece. And everybody's different, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna judge, okay? So, critique number one is, uh, it's a one-time purchase pouch, basically. And the reason why I say it's a one-time purchase pouch is because it's not resealable, okay? There's no resealable element on the top of this. Once you tear this open, it's open, and then you'll be eating it. Now, it's not a huge amount of weight, it's only, 42 grams is one and a half ounces. So there's, we're going to count how many pieces come in a bag in each bag also. So we're going to go over that as well. We're going to see how many comes in each bag and see if it's equal or if it's just based on the weight itself, because they're all 1.5 ounces. So just to get an idea how much comes in there at one and a half ounces or 42 grams, we'll see how much product is actually in there. Now they have this, uh, Perforated, well, not perforated, just a pre slice in the plastic here. So you can actually pull this, pull it across, and then rip the top off. And like I said, there's no resealable thing in here. But there's something really interesting about the packaging that I didn't mention, which I'm going to go over. Okay. They include a floss pick with the jerky. So not only can you enjoy the mm. beef jerky, they give you a floss pick. So you get floss and a toothpick that's been added part of it, right? So we'll, we'll go over that also. Maybe uh, we could do that up close. But first things first, the smell test. Mm. Now this is Sweet Thang, okay? Sweet Thang. It says the first jerky company that gives. That's the slogan. Mmm, I smell a little bit of pepper, like a black pepper, like a tiny hint of black pepper. I smell a little teriyaki, a little Worcestershire. Mmm, it's very pleasant. Slight black pepper, most likely salt in there, you know, to help dry it out. Uh, they got one of these little do not eat Silka packages. Don't eat that. <laughs> that would be bad. And now I'm going to pour this out on a napkin and show you guys what we got in here. Okay. Now, if any of you are asking or wondering, it does have nutritional facts, but they're very, very small. Uh, it is legible. So serving size is one ounce. Serving about, servings about one. So it's one serving the bag, basically. Uh, calories, 45 calories. Fat from calories is 10. Uh, total fat, 1 gram. Saturated fat, 0. Um, it's so small, the writing, it's hard to see. Trans fat, 0. Total carbs, 3 grams of carbs. Fiber, 0. Sugar, 2 grams of sugar. That's not bad at all. Uh, protein. Uh, I think that says five or it could say eight. It is so minuscule. It's so hard to see. We're going to have to look at it in the up close portion of this video. Sodium. Really not that bad. 220 milligrams of sodium. Now, I know that sounds like a lot, but it's really not for beef jerky. So I got to say that's uh, not bad. And about 15 milligrams of cholesterol. Okay, so um, we're going to go up close. We're going to check out this beef jerky. 
And then I'm also going to start this one right afterwards, and that's the barbecue shootout, okay? Okay, so this is the floss pick. It says worldwide uh, daily uh, oral in one floss pick and brush. So this seems pretty interesting. I'm just going to open this up, take a look at it. Here we go. We have our floss pick and brush. And look at that. It's got a proxy brush. Look at that. It actually is. It's got two pieces of floss on here for the floss section. There's two pieces of floss that wrap around. And then they actually include a proxy brush. That is awesome. And then what else is on here? Let's see. Oh, look at that. They have a scraper. It's got a little hook on the end. And then you got a pick. Wow. This is incredible. This is oral in one. And look at that. And look, this is what I like mostly about it. Look, little notches right here. So there's little notches. So you got a little mail piece right there. So you can take this and lock it into place. And your proxy brush will help clean your gums and the root of your gums. And this is your pick. You got the little hook on the end right there. That's going to help pick your teeth. That's awesome. First off, I like to say that this beef jerky, it smells amazing. Secondly, I like to say that it's actually very, very soft. Okay. I like soft beef jerky. Soft beef jerky just allows you to enjoy the flavor of the teriyaki and the soy and onion powder and so forth on a, on a much nicer level, basically, rather than having to wrestle with your beef jerky, you can actually chew it and enjoy it. So this is the beef jerky laid out out of the packet, basically. So we have one, two, three, this maybe could be four, five, and a really long number six. Okay, so this is roughly what you're going to get in the packet from what I got in this one. Now, is it going to be the same in every packet? No, because it's going to be based on weight. Maybe there's 12 pieces in the other one, but it's going to come out to 42 grams every time or 1.5 ounces. Okay, so that's basically what I got. All right, as far as texture and feel, very, very soft. Each individual piece is very soft. Even the thicker ones, very soft. And I like that. Uh, fat content, not a whole lot of gristly fat or anything like that. So it's nice to see that. And breaking it apart, you know, it's very nice. I got to say, it's not super sticky or anything like that. It's not sticky at all. It's got a nice feel. All right, so now we're going to do the taste test on the sweet thing, okay? It just smells so good. Mm. Breaks down very nicely. I don't feel anything getting stuck in my teeth. very sweet but it's not I, I'll take that back it's not very sweet it's got a very nice subtle sweetness mm. with the slight peppery spice to it in the background mm. Wow it almost it's strange, but when you chew it, you get that nice, sweet, subtle sweetness, little honey almost with like that teriyaki and that black pepper, it lingers on the back of your tongue. Like, you know, like when you put too much black pepper on something, but this is, this doesn't have like an overpowering black pepper taste but I know it's black pepper. 
unless it's the salt, but the salt content isn't that high. It's only 220 milligrams, so it's not bad. And I got nothing in my teeth. Some people don't like the sound of people doing that with their tongue, but that's the only way to really get your taste buds going. It gets the saliva to move around in your mouth a little bit to start spreading those flavors around. I can eat a whole bag straight through. I would like on their website to have something like maybe five ounce or 10 ounce bags. I'll pay more, I don't care. This is good. I'm trying to collect as much as I can in my mouth. See if it leaves any residue between my teeth and the gums. Mmm. So good. I know that sounds going to drive you crazy, but if you eat smacking your tongue up against the roof of your mouth and get those juices flowing, mm, there's no better way to taste your food than that way. Mm. Down to the last pieces. Mm. I'm going for the crumbs. That's good. Mmm. That is so good. Wow. That is so good. Hold up. Gonna do a check. Really nothing. I got one little piece of meat. Nothing else. Yeah, whatever remnants of meat, fat, or flavor, that's what's basically stuck in my gums. Other than that, I have one tiny little piece of meat. So I gotta say, wow, Sweet Thang, awesome, awesome flavor. Next on the list, Barbecue Shootout. So this one starts off with brown sugar, soy sauce, water, wheat, soybean, salt, tomato sauce, uh, fresh ripened tomatoes, sea salt, onion powder, garlic powder, natural smoke concentrate, granulated onion, granulated garlic, ground pepper, cayenne, and cumin. Contains wheat and soy. So that's that. Mmm. First initial smell. Reminds me of a barbecue potato chip. You know how like you get barbecue potato chips? It's that that it's that one kind of barbecue smell, like it smells like a barbecue potato chip. <sighs> smells good though. <sighs> Another floss pick. I'm happy about that. Another Silka pouch. Mm. Same exact texture as the previous sweet thing. Really nice meat. 
you know, cut about an eighth of an inch. Not a whole lot of fat. Very soft. This is going to melt in my mouth. very very light the smell of the barbecue is very strong but it's sweet though subtle subtle smoky taste very very subtle it's like way in the background the smoky taste very slight mesquite As I chew it more, the mesquite comes out more and more. And the black pepper. And the salt. I'm getting it on my tongue. I'm getting that, you know, not spicy, but it's like that slight. Mm. Saliva washing it through. Mm. Now it's getting super smoky. Mmm. The more you chew it, the more heat you're getting from that mesquite, you know. Mmm. Wow. Yeah. You know what? This is a longer chew. You gotta chew this one for a bit. Once your taste buds start getting excited from that longer chew. Wow. Mmm. That's phenomenal. Three pieces. Mm. This is phenomenal. Mmm. This bag seemed like it had a lot more jerky than the previous one. Mm. This is the last of it. I'm actually full. That was good. Now what I'm left with, my mouth is tingling. I was definitely left with some residual of meat in in the wider gaps of my teeth. Mm. Now it's not spicy. It's just the smokiness, that smokiness of the mesquite flavoring. Once your saliva starts going and working around that meat, starts swishing in between the fibers and everything, Wow, it gets intense, but it's such a good, good taste. That is phenomenal. Wow. Really, really impressed. That was phenomenal. I'm going to order more. Absolutely. It's so worth it. I mean, it's just so worth it. As far as the company goes, my critique for the company is reseal. You know, maybe you could put like some sort of Ziploc resealable top portion on here. Because I know if I open up the bag, I have to eat the whole thing. Unless I'm going to fold it and put a clip on here, like a paper clip or something. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to eat the whole bag. So, hats off to you guys. I mean, wow. 
Bearded jerky. I'm buying more. I'm sold. I'm convinced. This is awesome jerky. Um, I don't think I would get tired of it. I really wouldn't get tired of this jerky. Now, because I feel the barbecue shootout, it seemed like I had more in there, but it says one and a half ounces, 42 grams. Just seems like I had more in that pouch. Is it possible there could have been a mistake somewhere? I don't know. But I put all that beef jerky in my mouth and chewed it at once, and my mouth was on fire from all that mesquite. But it was a good fire, not like a spicy fire, just my taste buds right now. I feel like I'd eat anything, and my taste buds are going to be so alive. They're like so like excited right now. Wow. Phenomenal job, Houston and Jacob. Great job, you know. Um, you know, you guys literally knocked it out the park. So congratulations. I might even get the spicy one too. I don't know. Uh, but I'm big into sweets. That's me. I'm a sweet guy. So not so much the spicy, but the sweet is dope. And wow, that was just phenomenal. Guys out there, if you're watching, I apologize for the mouth noises. I know that makes people cringe, but, um, I got to say that was just flat out phenomenal and I have no complaints. So from me to YouTube, peace out, like, comment, up, subscribe. I'm out of here. Hopefully this review was helpful for you guys. If you were thinking about picking up this beef jerky, I highly, highly recommend it. That was phenomenal. Peace.